So, last night I was waiting for the update for Destiny to download, and I thought I'd try a new game. Now I settled on this one, it's called Lords of the Foil Fall <laughs> Lords of the Fallen, sorry. And it's one of the free games on PS Plus this month. Now the gameplay you're gonna see under this commentary was recorded at about midnight, so there are stupid errors. Sorry about the stupid errors, but they're gonna happen when I'm recording tired. Now the first thing you can see about this game, especially from this glorious title screen, are the graphics. They're absolutely incredible. Uh, animate, animated title screens are the best thing ever, and this has possibly the best one I've ever seen. And the graphics carry over into things like cutscenes like this. Now, it's, this is a small cutscene, admittedly, but it carries on into a bigger one you're going to see later. They seem to be animated in-engine, which are always better because they don't break the flow of the gameplay. The graphics, when you're actually playing the game as well, as you can see, are similarly delectable. There's dynamic pieces on my avatar, there's dynamic things in the world. Everything works and everything looks quote-unquote real. Now, another thing that you might see is the fact that there's no quest icon. There's no mini map, there's no nothing to help you like that. You're left to your own devices. As such, I've cut out about three minutes of me searching for a door and not being able to find it because I'm a fucking moron. Yeah, it took me three minutes to find that door that you've just seen me walk through. Now, this scroll, this scroll here, this is how the law seems to be uh, given to you. And it works rather well. I like it. It's a nice way of doing it, and it gives you a nice little audio overlay. In the same way that the game doesn't hold your hand in terms of telling you where to go, it also doesn't hold your hand with combat. This fucker who's just killed me, I found him chilling on a staircase. Standard, ordinary staircase in the middle of a floor, and then I was spawned next to this guy. Now, I'll save you the boring details, but this guy killed me and killed me and killed me and killed me and killed me for a good 10, 15 minutes. Of course, I did eventually get the hang of dodging him and baiting him and striking when I actually had the advantage. And as you can see from here, I was rather excited when he went down. Now, this is a good thing about throwing you into combat like this rather than babying you for a tutorial level. You get such a sense of accomplishment when you actually work out how to do something by yourself. Again, this cutscene seems to be, seems to be, in-engine rendered, which is glorious because it looks like how it looks when I'm playing, which I love. It's, it's brilliant. It doesn't break the flow of the game. Now, when I first saw this guy, I was fucking shit scared. Do you see that health bar? It also doesn't help that he hits like a fucking truck. Now, you've got to remember that at this point, I've been playing the game for about 20 minutes. If I hadn't been dicking about not being able to find the door and dying a whole lot, I could have been here in five. And as you just, like, this is a very definition of a starter box. It doesn't get any more than this when you can get to it that quickly. And as you've seen, he has a strike that can take away half of my health bar in a single hit. The power disparity is real. From what I understand, it's similar to what you get from the Souls games. Now, I've never played the Souls games, so I might be wrong in this. Uh, if I am wrong in this, you know, feel free to correct me. I'd be happy to hear what the Souls games are actually like without having to go and play them myself, because I kind of like being somewhat, somewhat sane. But yeah, this, this guy, the way you beat him is essentially you learn his attack patterns as you would when you're underpowered in pretty much any game. But it has to be said that if you are wrong with predicting his attack patterns, as you're about to see, you get destroyed. Like there, I thought I was going to be able to roll away from his attack. And there, I thought I was going to be able to roll away from his attack. And he killed me. I'm assuming here that this massive 12-foot demon creature is a he. I didn't beat him in the end. It was late and I was tired, sue me. 
Now, this isn't really the kind of RPG I've ever gone in for before. I usually go in for things like Skyrim. Um, as I said, I've never played a Souls game. I've never played anything like a Souls game. Like, this is, the, this is my first foray into this. But I've got to say I'm enjoying the challenge. So far, the only times I've died have been my own stupid fault. Now, I've had a lot of times where I've died by my own stupid fault, but it's a lot nicer than dying because auto-aim, which isn't here in this game, makes me swing and hit something I wasn't aiming at and something I didn't want to hit. This time, if I swing and miss, it's because I've not been pointing at what I was trying to hit. Now, this is possibly because the combat system is quite so simple. You've got a shield and you've got two strikes. You've got a light hit and a heavy hit. And it just works. The enemies are all distinct enough from each other that the game doesn't feel like it's going to get stale anytime soon. So we've had the big fuckers on the two staircases, we've had the infected fuckers, and we've had the big guy in the room. So yeah, it doesn't feel, at this point at least, that it's going to get stale, which is always a good thing. Long story short, this seems to be a fine example of its fucking merciless archetype. So if you're into this kind of game, then pick it up. It's free on this. It's free this month anyway, so it's not that you've got anything to lose. Now, I've never done this kind of video before. I may or may not do it again. It all depends, honestly, on what kind of games are in the monthly roster. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you now have some idea about whether or not you want to pick this game up. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, folks.